Hi everyone and welcome along to today's watercolour quick fix. I have been sent a set of brushes by Zen Art Supplies and these are faux squirrel synthetic bristle brushes um, but they are a very very close match to real fibre um, brushes. So what I want to talk to you about today on the quick fix is what are the benefits of actually buying a set of brushes as opposed to going and picking and choosing the ones you just think you want. And what I think the big pro of this is, is you end up getting brushes that you might not have used before. And today we are going to be looking at this brush, which is called the Cat's Tongue. I've taken it out of its wrapper, just squeezed the bristles a little bit and also just got them nice and wet in the water so we can have a look at it. So I like to describe this as the sort of pointed round with bells on because it does everything the pointed round does but with, with even more panache and, and more extension essentially because it has this incredible sort of long point whilst also being a very sort of broad brush it can sort of mimic uh, a big flathead one wash brush with the with the flattened uh, bit here and so what I want to do is just to show you some of the things that we might do with a pointed round brush that can be done to an even greater extent with the cat's tongue. So for a start let's just see what the general basics of it are because we've got this fine point so we can get a rather nice fine line and then if I just get it nicely coated in the water we can also get a beautiful broad line. There's a lot of brush here so you have to really sort of get it properly coated in your palette but then we can do the most incredible thin to thick to thin tapered lines and that is really impressive and, and you'll find the control of that to get the really large thin to thick is quite something. But what I really want to have a look at is what it's like for painting petals. So I'm just going to turn my piece of paper over and let's have a look at the petals. So with a point of the brush and then squashing it down. Well, that is quite amazing because when I paint with pointed round brushes, quite often I am ending up needing two brush strokes to get those and maybe fill in the middle. Obviously finishing them off with the control, that's a little less sort of successful, but saying that, we can twist the brush and play around with the angles, but it is a really fantastic brush for creating floral shapes. So I'm going to paint a quick rose with it and that will be a handy little guide for your Friday quick fix. So here I am getting in with the permanent rose and I'm going to begin by using the point to just create the central sort of cluster for my flower. But now this is when, wow, <laughs> that's amazing. So it is an incredible amount of reach. The only thing that's funny is um, it's such a big brush that I, I sort of didn't quite clear my water jar when I took it off and uh, ended up flicking on the page. So that's something that sort of needs getting used to. But what I just love about this is I'm able to create these massive brush strokes whilst also maintaining the control of the fine tip which is just so hard to be done with a lot of the larger sort of rounded point brushes. So I think 
the cat's tongue is really cool for just having a, an extra brush in your kit to be able to do some really amazing large scale sort of loose brush paintings. So therefore, what I would say is it's well worth having a look at some of these sets of watercolor brushes um, in the black tulip mix shapes for watercolors set. You get two round brushes, um, two flat and one rigger, which is the long slender brush that I use every now and then. And the other thing I will say of the quality of these is the synthetic faux squirrel, so it's trying to be like sable, means there's a real softness to these bristles, but it's just got a little bit more springiness, uh, which is what you like to see in a synthetic or mixed media brush. So I think there's a really fantastic sort of best of both worlds with these brushes. Um, so thank you so much Zen Art for sending them and I hope you enjoyed seeing what a cat's tongue brush can do.